welcome back to Adventure with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. In today's video, Winston and I leave New Mexico and we take a really cool route where I literally drove for 90 miles without anyone in front of me, anyone behind me. It kind of looked like Mars. Pretty crazy. But then we get to Durango, Colorado, where we boondock for one night on BLM land and face some crazy storms. Um, let's see, we meet up with Brock, Ozzy Van Man, uh, once again, uh, this time in Colorado. We have some more unique interactions with people, find an awesome campsite in Creed, Colorado when we arrive here, and I have all of that footage in between. So keep in mind that after this video, I will have more footage of Creed coming because there is a lot of history, very cool town, and so much to show you guys. So like this video, let's get started. What is that? I just noticed that. Winston is leading with his nose. Found some animal bones. Oh gosh, I I got so many bug bites at the at the lake, at Blue Water Lake. 
all the rain brings out the mosquitoes. And I'll tell you what, this humidity, my skin's loving it. My hair is a hot mess. The amount of rain I've experienced in the last week is, I think, more rain than I've experienced all year so far. <laughs> There's more to come this weekend. But I'm enjoying it because the weather is cool. And I like the challenge. Yesterday and today, I had a quick very flawless two and a half hour drive. But even though the drive is short, I've had so much to do. And today we made that trip to Walmart. Um, so I have been doing so many things. It is like 6.30 already. I just ate some pizza. I feel like I don't know where the day went, but I'm glad I got it started early. I had to restock on stuff at Walmart. Um, I even picked up some rain -X. I've never had to use it in my life, living in Arizona. But again, with all of this rain and incoming rain, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to pick some of this up. So I got it. It's glass cleaner and repellent. We'll see how well it works. It was like six bucks at Walmart. So I have that, and I'll see if any of my friends need to use it um, this weekend since I have plenty to go around. But... While Winston is still sniffing and we still have plenty of daylight, I'm just trying to get things cleaned up. I just shaved my legs. I hadn't shaved in like six days. <laughs> so I just, <laughs> I mean, yeah, this is just uh, reality. So, but now I want to get the inside of my van, not like perfectly clean, but just cleaned up a little bit. I did all that laundry yesterday. I didn't clean my big blanket because... I'm just like, you know what? We got muddy paws, dirty paws, there's dirt everywhere, so I won't clean everything. I dropped my towel in the Walmart parking lot today, so that was cute. Um, I'm probably going to have to do another load of laundry next week, just blankets and towels. A couple of uh, van lifers just pulled in across the way. So this is like a pipeline road. Um, and so there are there are certain spots. I read on iOverlander that by 7 p.m. like all the spots are gone. I wanted to get here early. I did, so I had my pick of the spots. Um, but some van lifers just pulled in across the way there in a ProMaster, and it looks like a younger couple like me. And although I typically like to camp like in solitude and privacy, when I'm in a new place like this, especially if I'm just doing like an overnighter. Um, I actually like when I can see and hear other people. So they're across the way. We still have our privacy over here. Winston has this space to roam. But I just feel good knowing there's like people my age over there. I also heard some other people over here like laughing and having fun earlier. So so that's good because it's a good balance. Like I we have our privacy and space, but there's people nearby. And that can be very comforting um, when you're traveling. my hair if you haven't seen it when it's humid yeah it's naturally wavy so as you saw it was storming as Winston and I entered into Colorado from New Mexico today and um, when we got to the Durango Walmart it was just kind of sprinkling and then it cleared up so we got to the campsite and it hasn't rained and I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know, I should check the forecast. It's like 7.30, I think. It's 8 o'clock. And I was like, I should check the forecast because I have Winston's playpen outside. I have his chair outside. So I looked at the forecast and it was clear. And it showed clear all night. And 
I checked the forecast for Creed tomorrow, and it's supposed to be clear most of the day in Creed tomorrow, so that's good. So I was like, cool, I'll leave out my chair in the playpen. That way Winston can go into the playpen in the morning when I'm cleaning up the van. I like to use the chair to like put my blankets and stuff on as I'm cleaning. Literally, not even five minutes later, I started to hear the raindrops on the van. I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna go out and put the stuff away. I got up, went outside. By the time I was out of the van, 15 seconds later, it was downpouring. <laughs> um, I threw the chair under the trees. I threw the playpen under the trees and I got soaked. All of that happened within 30 seconds. So thanks forecast for that. Um, that's very helpful. Um, and it's very humid here. Right now it's 69 degrees in the van. Nice. And it is 70% humidity. Condensation on the windows. And all my stuff outside is soaked. I don't even know. These are these are van life things. Hi, handsome. But luckily, even if it's wet, it'll go on the rooftop box. It is what it is. It'll dry out eventually. And then we just have a cute buoy. Winston does not mind the rain. So even if it's raining, he'll go out and go potty. He does not care. <laughs> he does not care. Huh, cute kid. We haven't had this much condensation on the windows yet. It's... Hi. Are you thirsty for a drink? Okay, let me get you some water. Yeah, you should come. And I was like, yeah, 
I will take that invite. Thank you very much. So, uh, ooh, these, these Colorado mountains, you know, I'm like, do I need a downshift or do I not? I think I might be good. Um, so yeah, that's why I am with Brock in Colorado and how super fun for me. This is awesome. What is it called? Treasure Treasure Falls, I think. Okay. Yeah, we're at a waterfall on the side of the road. Here, come over here, son. All right, so this is the Treasure Falls um, Trail. It's, oh, whoop, whoop. It's a little slippery now. See, that's exactly why I shouldn't have worn these There's shoes. The <laughs> All this rain. Um, it's only a quarter mile. So I figure Winston can handle it. But yeah, I should have worn my other sandals, but. When Brock randomly pulls over and I have no idea what's happening. Amanda likes to get dangerous, huh? If I can see what? No way. It feels so good up here, doesn't it? So fresh. What? Look at him. An Aussie in the wild. <laughs> oh, Winston's peeing on so many things. There's so many smells. I just smell the smell. You do smell the smells, because we've just had all that rain, it's yeah. fantastic. Yep, we're going to go this way. Okay.
Billy Dick. Oh, that sounds good. Where are we at? Oh, Jesus, that was loud. MJ's Cafe. Yeah, imagine being locked up in one of these, though. Like, that would suck. These are old jail cells, guys. Eighteen ninety seven patented mining cart. So we are just we just ate our lunch and we are parked at the visitor center, which is currently closed. I we're just gonna try and walk around town a little bit before finding a campsite. Brock had a really long travel day yesterday, and I've been traveling the last three days, so we're just doing a little bit today, and then we both need some rest. Oh boy, moose? Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not so sure about all this. Yikes. We got Winston in the sling since he did his fair share of walking earlier. Just figured I'd carry him, especially since we're going to go into some stores. Oh my gosh, this Coke chest is so cool. I mean, you can't get a Oh, look at all the mining helmets. No, we actually make down in the Y'all, this main street is just adorable. What I like about it is it's a historic town that hasn't really been modernized too much, so it still has its original charm to it. Wild Beaver Mountain Man Emporium. Yeah, that's where Brock, well, I need to just put Brock in there and leave him there. Look at those houses up on the mountains. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This place is incredible, you guys. Definitely, definitely gonna have to drive through here. This, this looks cool. Maybe tomorrow we'll come back and we'll drive through this strip up through the mountains. That would be awesome. Oh, an artisan's market. Yeah, let's have a look. Of course. Let's take a look. Let's see what fun stuff I don't need to buy. Yeah. Play with that smoke. Yeah, I kind of want to. Well, I don't want to bend down and get some. I think it will, it's allergic. It's allergic. Um, no, it will play your allergies. Uh, it's an allergen. Allergen smell. Yeah. So we're gonna come back to this uh, museum tomorrow for sure. We're gonna show a little tiny thing. Very cool. So for those of you who don't know, my brother is a train conductor and engineer. And this is like, he would love this place. So I'm looking forward to checking out the railroad museum and getting him cool souvenir. He would absolutely love this town.
so it looks like um, this campsite area was a bust because they've turned a lot of it into private property. So there were like two campsites and they were taken. But somehow Brock and I have a knack for chatting with people very friendly people, helpful people. I don't know. It seems like wherever we're at, we find people to talk to. Um, and so we met some locals just now and they're going to lead us essentially to a potential camping area. Look at this y'all. Wow. Beautiful wildflowers. The locals were telling us, you know, all the rain, that they've gotten has really made them bloom. So we came up a mountain and now we are trying to find a campsite here. What on earth is happening here? There's, look at all these cows and somebody's camped in a tent with the cows. That's amazing. So in Creed, 96% of this land is federally owned and thank goodness for the locals because check out this campsite we're at a trailhead but we can camp here there's Brock. He's talking to the guy we just passed in the tent with the cows. Those are not his cows. He's just camping with the cows. And we are camping on, I think this is a river or a creek. I don't know. I have to look. y'all hear that? That's peace and serenity. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> um, wow, what a, what a, uh, this day has been breathtaking. And it's only 3 p.m. And there's something so special about traveling with somebody else because you can share those moments with them no matter who it is. Um, oh, hi, Bubba's. Kiddo is working on a smart bone. He was just in the van. Get in the van, cleaned up. It doesn't take long, y'all. You know, I had a downpour last night, been traveling, um, haven't been worrying too much about the cleanliness of the van, especially in an environment like this, because let's be honest, there's gonna be pine needles and dirt and crap all over the place. Um, but I'm slowly getting settled in. I put some beer in the fridge so I can have some beer later. And Brock is kind of doing the same thing right now. So I have towels hanging out to dry because they're the ones that got soaked last night. And there are bugs. So I actually got out my bug screens. I'm going to be putting those up like on my trunk and on my doors because they're full size bug screens. Oh, and I have to show you something else. This is my new tea kettle. It's my color. <laughs> Y'all, my tea kettle has had a leak in it. And Brock noticed last weekend, but I was like, ah, you know what? I'm not going to buy another one. It still works. It's whatever. It doesn't leak a lot. So he gifted me with a new tea kettle. Oh, yeah. So, so sweet of him. I'm so excited. It's my color. So thoughtful. And, um... Yeah, so I'm going to clean up a little bit more. I just wanted to pop in um, and take a break to film real quick. I got my bug screens up. They are homemade. It's just screen that I cut and I have magnets. So I have a big one for my trunk. As you can see, there's plenty of flies on there. And then, yeah, my campsite's kind of kind of crazy, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look 
cute right now. And then here's my other one. It's keeping the bugs out. They're doing their job. Hi, kid. Yes, they do big that. <laughs> the cows are at camp. I thought it was like 9 o'clock or not 9. But Actually, I freaked out because I thought they were moose for a second. And our neighbor over here is telling us that... Um, the moose are the scariest in the area. He has seen some baby black bears, but the cows are down here enjoying the, the creek here. You're just, you're a mini cow. That's your bre brethren. Hi, babies.